Thanks a lot for coming here and making this uh, great event happen because I can say that this event is, as far as I can see, one of the uh, greatest events in uh, CE region, Central and Eastern Europe region. So, first of all, I want to congratulate for this event all of you and uh, for being here. So, uh, as Jamalto, we are a company which has a focus on protecting identity and data. So, uh, I'm going to first of all start with a few statistics. These statistics are coming from the first half of 2016. This number is just saying more than 5 million. And what is more than 5 million is the number of records in all over the world which has been breached somehow, lost or hacked. And we can see that more and more organizations are understanding that these numbers are showing the data breaches are not you can prevent. So when you look at the details, you can see that a lot of incidents are happening, like every second, more than 30 data records are being hacked. And it's very critical. 52% of these incidents, the organization has no clue that how many data or what kind of data is breached. It is a kind of disaster. And when we look at the details, we can see that more than 60% of the incidents, the attackers, the hackers are going for identity data. What is identity data is simply any information directly related to your identity or any information that can be related to your identity. So, we think that we can't prevent the breaches. So, we need to do something else. We need to change our classical conventional mindset. The conventional mindset is use something Use firewalls, use IPS, use CMs, use any other solution, antivirus, etc., etc., and prevent the breach. And the hackers are responding. Do whatever you do, and the breaches are unavailable. So, what we are proposing to you is if you really want to secure your data, especially sensitive or critical data, you need to change your mindset. First of all, it starts with acceptance. You need to accept that breaches are happening. And then you need to identify what is your most critical assets. Data, right? What kind of data is storing where? And then the next step is securing the breach or secure breach. Secure breach is our motto and we are proposing you that even your company, your organization is hacked. Make sure that your critical data is useless for them. Outside, we are having conversation with people CIOs and other people, and they are asking, how can we make sure our data is secure? You can do it with uh, just a moment. And another thing, how uh, these breaches are happening, it is very funny, but it is still the truth. 70% of the breaches today are still happening 
because of weak or stolen passwords. Another thing is you are investing 80% of your budget to perimeter security, not data security. And 90% of the companies has no key management policies. So we are saying that protect your data where it is. It is moving or not. Protect your information, not anything else. So we are proposing three-step approach. First of all, you need, to, you need to encrypt your data to make sure it is accessible by authorized people and not anybody else. In order to do that, you need to control and manage your encryption keys in a secure way. And then, last step, maybe the first step, you need to make sure that who is accessing that data. For example, starting from the access control, regardless who is accessing what, inside of the organization or outside of the organization, you need to make sure all the access policies should be mapped with a strong authentication policy. I'm sure you are using strong authentication solutions for your outside access, VPN access. But it's not enough. When somebody, your employee or whatever, sits on your desk, opens his computer, logs on his Windows machine, it means that he is not only access to data on his computer, but also he has access to your network. So just an example, it is not acceptable to access to Windows device with just a password, with just the domain password. So we need to make sure when somebody is accessing a resource, whatever he is, he needs to prove his identity with strong authentication mechanisms, like this. I have shown this video because I'm saying that there is no security unless you have strong authentication. But on the other hand, I'm saying that security is not good enough unless the user experience is good enough. What I'm showing here is all profiles in your organization, any roles will have the easiest but also most secure way of strong authentication like this. And uh, I can say that we have the most number, the biggest, the greatest number of all out of the box integrations with any vendor, any product. So it is just a, a baby job for you. It's not hard to do. So this is Gartner's uh, report for user authentication and you can see that SafeNet is the number one. As soon as you have implemented a strong authentication and uh, enrolled somebody to access something, you need to make sure that that something is secured with tokenization and encryption. And 
regardless what kind of data it is. For example, that data should be might be data in motion or data at rest. For example, any data moving from your data center to disaster recovery center, the data in motion should be secured enough regardless what kind of uh, breach attempt is happening because of the telco operator or because of any uh, hacker your data must be secured like yeah This is for data in motion and you have data at rest as well, right? What is data at rest? For example, data which is stored on your SQL servers or no SQL servers or your file system in your files and folders. You need to make sure those data are secure enough as well. And when you are doing that, encryption is just locking a door. But if you are locking a door, you have to make sure that your key is secure enough. You don't, you can't leave the key on the door. And what GDPR is saying about that? We don't need to discover America one more time. Just look at the measures that you can 
take or you have to take. And it's saying that GDPR is just saying you need to encrypt and pseudonymize your data. And how can you do that? For example, tokenization. Uh, I will need one more minute. Uh, tokenization is a system that you give your clear text sensitive data and get a token instead of it. A token is a value that you can use in your system transparently, just like a normal data. But if your data is breached, there is no need to worry about that. Because your data is only used inside. And token is useless outside of the world. Another approach is encrypting the data in the application level. Which means any kind of application can use our network attached encrypted device in order to encrypt any kind of data and use it in the backend systems, like databases, like file systems, or any other applications sharing. So you can use a level of encryption at your applications. With the same device, you can do the encryption on your databases at the same time. Any kind of MS SQL servers, Oracle servers, IBM servers, regardless what it is, you can make sure your uh, data is encrypted on your database and only and only authorized personnel can access that data. And one more thing, the data, critical data on your files. For example, just an example and I am finishing. You have a critical data on your file. This is the file and the data owner, the business owner is accessing the file transparently. And somebody else, for example, the system admin, domain admin, when he opens the file transparently, he can open the file, he can use the file, but with ciphertext which makes sure you can do the separation of duties. And any other attempt to that data will be denied by the system. So any kind of, as a result, any kind of encryption is must for GDPR regulation and also to protect your data. And Gemalto is providing a single pane, single device in order to protect the data which your application is using, database is, use, is using, virtual systems are using, and files are storing. With the broadest level of integration with all kind of systems. So, uh, more than 700 products we have out of the box integrations. Thank you for listening to, me, listening to me. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me or your my partners. We are outside as well. Thank you for listening again.